So my grandma stole a rose hair, rose hair, just molted last night, and I checked the mold, and it appears to be a confirmed female. Here is her mold. I spreaded it out after soaking it in some soapy water. Right. I hope it's focusing. There is a flap. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera. Sorry, I'm shaking, but yeah, there we go. There's a flap. So, because she is a confirmed female, meaning she has a long life ahead of her, I went out and got her a larger enclosure, which I will be rehousing her probably tomorrow or in two days, because since she just molted last night, her body is still soft and fragile. She is currently in this small critter keeper which would make this new enclosure quite an upgrade. This new enclosure will be her permanent enclosure because Roseas only get about 5 inches so about that and this is probably like the perfect size for her. Right so we're gonna set up this enclosure put in the substrate and the decors just to prepare it for when I decide to rehouse her. Let's get in some substrate. I literally made a whole bucket of substrate for future rehousings. It's just coconut fiber because I feel it's the best for me at least. But yeah, let's get some in. I'm not putting in too much, just something like that because as, ro as adults, roseas don't actually burrow and also because they like their substrate relatively dry. Since it's dry, it's going to prevent her from burrowing because if she tries to burrow, the coconut fiber just collapses back. I'm going to be putting in a height for her but I'm not going to, I'm not just going to be putting it down like that I'm going to put it at an angle so it makes it like a burrow for her in order to do that I will be placing pieces of bricks something like that so when I put this it'll sort of stand but I'm going to have to arrange the bricks properly so something like that, as you can see there, are, the bricks are underneath. So it makes it like a deeper, sort of a deeper burrow for her. Just got to clean this up. Now for some sphagnum moss, which I will be sprinkling on the back of the hide. And we're going to add in some forest moss as well. I'm not sure what tea this is from. I think it was from my Belfori. Not sure. Alright, I'm going to put it like... Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I think that's looking pretty good in my opinion. Just to make the enclosure a tad bit more appealing, we're going to add in a rock which I will arrange it, well, place it in its position and resume the video. I think that looks way better. Top view. Like I'm planning to put the water dish at the corner here so it's like a perfect place to place it. And now for some beech wood chips because why not water dish will just be a little deli container with a pebble inside just in case to prevent her from drowning so we're gonna drop it right where it's supposed to be perfect and there is the final enclosure what do you guys think I think it looks pretty good. 
well, decent enough for a Gramastola Rosea's life. But if you guys have any other suggestions that I could possibly change or maybe add into the enclosure, do let me know in the comments below. Now all we have to do is wait, maybe tomorrow, and we'll rehouse her. 48 hours later. It's been about two days now, so let's begin the rehousing. There she is. Looking very shy, but I'm sure she's going to enjoy her new enclosure. How am I gonna do this? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use my hands. Be Bear in mind that Rosea's can be a bit temperamental at times. So, I'm just gonna prod her with my bamboo tongs. Look at that thread posture already. Don't mind the background noise. Some people are cutting grass outside my house. Come on, girl. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. There we go. There she is. Alright, now let's put her into her new enclosure. Here goes. There we go. This enclosure looks to be a little bit big for her, but she'll grow into it. Pretty sure she's gonna be in enjoying this enclosure much more as compared to what she was in previously. One thing I hope though is that she doesn't like mess up the wood chips because come on, it looks pretty good now. I'll show you what my brachypel, my L biceps did. I did a very similar setup for my brachypelma albiceps, but she decided to mess up the wood chips. Which is sad, but I guess whatever makes them happy. And why does she have to throw the moss in the water? Come on. But anyways, there is the upgrade in enclosure size. I will most probably be doing something very similar for other female terrestrials. So if you guys have any ideas or how I can enhance future enclosures, like what I can add in or remove out, do let me know in the comments below. But anyways, that'll be pretty much it for this video. I don't want to make it too long, so I'm probably just but can't speak as always I probably will just cut it over here so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always thank you guys very much for watching I really appreciate all of your support bye